long term condition is more important when someone is a diabetes some kids a diabetes some is asthma so you need to educate about the what is a common what are the precipitating factor what are the exacerbating factor so how to what is a medicine why it is important you need to talk about liver medicine controller medicine holistic and thing is and you should not pass the information in one session small session small piece of information give them absorb it then multiple sessions because that if you if you try to say the whole information in one sitting na they won't be to able to absorb and there will be a poor trust gap next one the most important structure about the communication when someone parents or patient sitting in front of you just introduce yourself my name is dr soren so i am from soren so department i am from so designation uh, and the second thing try to identify the patient or parents entity are you father or mother of riya three year old girl or are you mr so it says it yes okay Can greet them. Good morning. Good afternoon. Go good evening. Yeah, any local language. Namaste. Wanna come? Whatever you are saying there. Yeah, I'm just built a report. How are you? Yeah. Then when uh, uh, when when we complete this some formal introduction, some uh, report building, try to pass the message. Look like here. We are, I have invited to invited to discuss about the. to discuss something important regarding the patient or you or your do like anything any agent like consent information whatever tell then after the confirmation of the topic which you will then ask them to if they want any other relatives to um, come in the room what happen sometimes in especially indian scenario okay we finish all communication then they will ask sir i don't understand anything Will you talk to my husband, or will you talk to my father? Will you talk to my son? So before starting, and other thing is that every family, every community are dependent on the someone opinion for their medical decision because there are uh, every community has a leader, especially in India with the caste and community a big role. Sometimes the family or parents might not able to take a decision alone. They are depending on the other person for their one. For the decision, so it is better that uh, the starting of the meeting we should uh, ask them clear cut. If you want other person to present in this meeting, like your friends, family, or any leader, uh, uh, apart from you, so if yes, then we need to invite them because family or parents are depending on them for for the decision making. So our work will be easier. Then after thing, we need to. Grow on the grow on the check the prior knowledge because every family or patient or a certain certain prior knowledge of the particular disease which is going on. After checking the prior knowledge, we can go on our agent care. Yeah, uh, slowly, slowly, step by step. Don't speak more than ah uh, 30 seconds. After speaking in 30 seconds, you then pause. Are you understanding? Are you able to understand? Do you listen to me? Are you able to understand? Check understanding frequently. In between, while checking, ask their concern. If they want to speak, allow them to speak. Don't interrupt them. Tell them what. Let them say their concern. Sometimes we break the news. They might start crying. They might start throwing tantrum. Just keep quiet. Have a positive body language. Tell them. Tell them sympathy or empathy or compassion. Like that. We don't understand. It's very difficult for you. But we are here to help you. We are looking after your patient, which is doing the person good, and we are continuously looking after him. We are doing every possible efforts uh, for the betterment of the patient, and we will update it time to time slowly. Okay. See, the patient also knows, parents also know that the doctors are not as good, and they won't do miracle. But what they want from the doctor is the hundred percent efforts, so that. Uh, uh, <coughs> They near in their own server uh, can come out from the sickness. 
illness so <clears throat> it is our duty to communicate with the, your our patient or parents that we are doing best for you in our maximum capacity and by honestly we are putting the person first in your patient and we do understand you that you are also in stress and at this point of time at this low point of time, we are here to give you moral support and moral support to you and medical support to your patient that things should be clearly out in emotional and empathetic way give them time to speak ask the concern in the last tell the short summary what you have discussed because sometimes conversation runs a long time in that long time we should not take and granted for the patient that you can <coughs> you can think about it okay ki they will remember each and every detail because there are lots of questions running in their mind no public person so better that like at the end of the uh, conversation we need to summarize most important points and the check the understand and now it is parents or patient with more information so um, better if, and the dear also do google also so don't give them google tell them if you want more information i can give solution that uh, these are the standard website for the healthcare id healthcare information you can go there and read them. because if you don't suggest them they might land up in a random google website and they make things more complicated for you so give them standard source of information to communicate okay that is a thing yeah and uh, and at the last and sometimes always ask for the next meeting in update in, in a consent if they you can tell them that after the completion of the procedure we will update you the breaking bad news you can say that uh, that end time we will update him up to regarding your condition and the information that you can say that uh, we will review it time to time okay the all this thing uh, follow up and update this message do not think that if they ask them to follow up regularly they will think about the fees or voting forget the fees patient don't like to pay that is fine but if you don't care then they really don't like so our profession is to provide the care health care service not to save their money okay so message should be passed on that we are here to care for you care is more important than money always ask, if you feel it always ask for the follow up and for the update that is more important in the medical practice rest are the domain see the communication which is not that i can give you lecture and you can learn out. definitely not you need to practice the structure i have i i have been, uh, i just told you which you need to follow i think that is a basic about the communication